BTC makes a big move to 64,000 and Coinbase can't handle the action as accounts go to zero. Meanwhile, XRP riding on the BTC coattails makes a move to 60 cents, but just like the Kembe Mutombo in the 90s, rejected. Not in my house. And let's not forget about PayPay, soaring 180% this last week to rocket its way up the charts. Started off with the viewer, because yes, you matter most. Pesky Logic Talinsky says, I bet you're stoked to share good news with these pumps. It's been a year. Yes, definitely good to see XRP moving up on this BTC move. Couldn't even hold 60 cents and was rejected back to under 54.5 to 54. .3. We're going to talk about XRP price action soon, but first let's get to the heat map and then get into the news. Bitcoin is sitting at 60,269. The move is alive and well. Look, last 24 hours BTC is up 5.4%, XRP down 4.3%, ETH pretty much sideways. Apto still large up 22% here in the last 24 hours. Lido making a move to the downside down 6%. Wow. All right. Coinbase crashes as Bitcoin surpasses 60,000. Starting the day at 57,000, you know the deal. Made it all the way to 64.3 before undergoing a 6.2 correction to 60,000. Given the spike in Bitcoin's price volatility, Coinbase was overwhelmed in a surge of traffic. Many users reported seeing a zero balance in their Coinbase accounts and encountered errors while attempting to buy or sell. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You remember when the Torres action happened and... They weren't able to get orders through. And, and remember when Uphold had problems with XRP? Like, is crypto not ready for any serious move? Like, seriously, if there's any, like, major, major, like, candlestick action going on, dude, like, are these guys going to not be able to hold the action? Like, come on. That's shady AF. We are aware that some users may see a zero balance across their Coinbase account, may experience errors in buying and selling. Of course, while BTC has like its highest amount, your assets are safe. Here is what Brian Armstrong said. We are dealing with a large surge of traffic. Apologies for any issues you encounter. The team is working to remediate. So for real, BTC starts spiking in volume and traffic. You can't handle it. Is the entire sector just not like able to handle any of this mess? Like this is a joke. Like, this is a serious, disgusting joke. And what bothers me about this is crypto and everything else dealt with money is built on trust. How are you trusting Coinbase now that your accounts were saying zero balance while BTC is booming? All right, check this out. BTC rejected off of 64,000 as over a half a billion of liquidations occur. Yeah, this was a bad, nasty move. Amid the chaos, crypto traders have experienced 638 million in liquidations, including 391 in the last four hours alone. No wonder alts in BTC positions got liquidated as BTC was up 25% over the last several days. XRP made it up to 10%, but both got pushed down. BTC got pushed down to 17% on the gain. XRP pushed down to 3% on the gain. Lots of liquidations. Meanwhile, ETH traders suffered 45 million in liquidations. 55 million of it was in one hour. 96 million was done in little to known altcoins. Lots of liquidations. And what else is happening? Pepe making a move. Pepe is up nearly 180% for the week. This extraordinary comeback is overshadowing the meme coins as Pepe goes for a daily gain of 43% and a weekly gain of 176. All of this action happening on the BTC coattails. That's what I got up on the screen in blue. BTC, your candlesticks right here. That's XRP. Let's remove it and take a look at the move. There you go. Made it up to 60 cents. Specifically was at 60.5. Could not hold. Sent it back down to 54.3. Here we are right now floating at around 56.3. The hope is that this stops. That BTC finds footing and propels its way back up. Why? Because BTC is the reason for this whole market's move. And when you compare the two, for those out there that are like, bro, BTC has nothing to do with this. Let me just put BTC back in. We'll put it in the girl's baby blue. 
Look at the moves. They look nearly identical here. But what's sad, though, is that BTC has been making the bigger move than XRP. And if we zoom in a little bit, you can see the major move here to the downside where BTC was still moving up. Zoom in just a little bit more and you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. Yes, XRP down quite a bit more, erasing quite a bit more of its gains, about 24 hours worth of gains. While BTC nearly raced, what? About seven hours worth of gains. So how low will BTC go and what will happen with the alts? Will they be able to keep up with the BTC move or will BTC be blessing some people in the market while others are flashing red? Just take a look at the heat map right now. Tell me that the market right now is pricing stuff out. You're seeing separation. I know you're not excited to see XRP down, but this is market separation and we've been waiting for this. By the way, near protocol down big as well, down 5.5% to 372 here in the last 24 hours. Let's hope BTC finds footing at 60,000 and keeps the alt run alive. We're all happy to see the BTC move happening. We're all happy to see it pull up the entire market. But wow, is the market reacting differently as the move is occurring? You're seeing some players, yes, move with it. Some players move identical with it. Others just roaring like Pepe. Aptos, by the way, bucking the trend up 22% here in the last 24 hours. While others out there are in the red. Could not hold on the momentum and steam. And that's what happened with XRP. But XRP still above that 56 cent mark. So we're all happy about that. But it would have been nice to keep 60 cents, but it couldn't. In fact, the move to the downside was much stronger with XRP than it was BTC. But remember, the move with BTC was also stronger on the upside for BTC than it was for XRP. Pumps and dumps, everyone, as liquidations happen. Yep, over a half a billion dollars of liquidations happen as BTC crest 64,000 but couldn't hold. Stay tuned because as more news breaks, you know, I'll share it with you. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that BTC makes yet another move and we start eyeing all-time highs. I'll catch you cool cats later.